Welcome to Aura. Today, we'll be talking about visual acuity testing. The eye is one of the most important organs of the human body. It helps us to see the beautiful world around us. So let's learn a bit about how we go about testing visual acuity. Before we go there, a few facts. We test visual acuity in all ophthalmology cases. It is a retinal function and we test distant as well as near visual acuity. To know more about visual acuity or distant visual acuity, we first talk about the Snellens test types. The Snellens test types are the letters used on the Snellens chart, which we'll be discussing about later. First, let us discuss the principle behind the design of the Snellens test types. The principle goes like this. Two distant points can be visible as separate only when they subtend an angle of one minute at the nodal point of the eye. To make things more simple, let's consider the letter E and superimpose it on a huge square and we divide it into 24 smaller squares. Now we consider an eye and we consider the angle subtended by one single square at the nodal point of the eye or simply at the eye. Here let us imagine that the angle subtended is one minute. So since the distance between the two strokes in the letter E here is one single square and since one single square in this case obtains an angle of one minute, the patient will be able to differentiate the two different strokes of the letter E in this case. Now imagine a patient has a defective vision and a single square only subtends 0.5 minute at the eye he won't be able to differentiate the two different strokes of the letter E according to Snellen's test type principle. So we make the letter bigger and bigger so that one single square is now bigger and it subtends an angle of one minute at the eye and thus the patient will be able to see it or differentiate the two strokes of the letter E and hence able to read it. This is the principle behind Snellen's test types which is used in the Snellen's chart, a series of black capital letters on a white board. Letters, as I said earlier, have a breadth such that they subtend one minute at the nodal point of the eye and thus the whole letter at a given distance subtends an angle of five minute at the nodal point of the eye. This distance is labeled corresponding to each line on the Snellen's chart. The letters of the top line of the Snellen's chart should be read clearly at a distance of 60 meter by a person with normal vision. Now what is the procedure? Let's say a handsome young man comes to us to test his visual acuity. How do we go about it? We place him at a distance of 6 meters from the Snellen's chart which is to be hung on a wall and we ask him to close one eye. The eye to be tested is obviously left open. Now we ask him to read the letters from top to bottom and ask him to stop when he is not able to see the letters clearly. So then we need a formula here to calculate the visual acuity which is visual acuity VA equals distance of the patient from the letters of from the Snellen's chart divided by the, the number corresponding to the smallest letter accurately read. Imagine if the patient reads up to the line corresponding to the number 6 on the chart. We express the visual acuity as distance of the patient from the chart which here essentially is 6 divided by number corresponding to the smallest letter accurately read which is again 6. So the patient has a 6 by 6 vision. Imagine the patient is not able to read even the topmost biggest letter on the Snellen's chart. What do we do? 
we ask the patient to come closer till he is able to read the topmost letter and then measure the distance between the Snellen's chart and the patient. Again, we use the same formula, the distance of the patient from the Snellen's chart, which is 4, divided by the number corresponding to the letter he reads, which here is 60 because it is the topmost letter. So the patient's visual acuity is 4 by 60. What if the person is unable to read the topmost line even from 1 meter? We ask him to count the examiner's fingers. We ask him to count at 3 feet. If he is able to count, we express the result as CF3. If he is not able to, we bring him up to 2 feet, we express it at CF2 and so on and so forth. And if he's not able to read at all and if he's only able to count the fingers close to face we express it as cf close to face what if he's not able to count fingers at all we ask him to perceive our hand movements we see if he's able to perceive the hand movements if yes it's impositive if no we move on to perception of light we actually shine a torch and ask him to and ask him if he can perceive the light. If he's able to, we record it as PL positive or else PL negative, which is complete blindness, of course. The measurements I've given here are in meters, so my table goes like this 6 by 6 for perfect vision, 5 by 6, 6 by 9, and so on and so forth. But in countries like the United States, they use the Snellens 20 feet table where the measurement is expressed in feet. The principle remains the same, just the numbers change. Now coming to other tests for children below two years of age or for illiterate people, we ask them to read picture charts, simple picture charts as shown here, or we ask them to read the Landall C chart where we ask where the notes in the circle is. Or we use the E chart, the tumbling E chart to be specific where we ask to which direction the E faces. Coming to visual acuity for near. Near vision is tested by asking the patient to read the near vision chart at a distance of 35 centimeters. This is a near vision chart and there are various notations as you can see the J8, N18 etc. The J8 refers to the Jagos chart. The principle remains the same as a distant vision calculation, but here the things, the, the test types are smaller and we read at a closer distance. This is a Jagos chart. There are Roman test types which are also called printer's point system since we use this particular test types in printing newspapers. Then there are Snellen's near vision test types. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and do subscribe if you like the video.